If you'd like to embed a YouTube video on your website, you should know that there are two options, well, there are more than two, but to me, the most important question is at the end of the YouTube video or when they pause the video on your website, do they see related videos, suggested videos from other channels or only related or suggested videos from your channel? There is an option to do this. Most people don't know about it. Let me go ahead and show you on the screen. So here it is. Uh, I've already um, started the started the page to, to show you. Um, it's called the RHEL code, okay? And let me show you what the code is. This is, let me first show you what it looks like with and without the RHEL code. I've, I've muted the audio so you can't hear it. But um, in fact, I'm going to mute the audio right now for myself. And notice I've started playing this video. And if I just embed the YouTube video without the rel code, which is by default, there is no rel code. If I pause the video, see what happens. It is now recommending videos from, yes, from my channel, it will recommend one video, but it also recommends videos from other people's channels. This is not helpful because people can get taken into, you know, usually other people's thumbnails are very attractive compared to mine. Um, I like Heather, but it's like, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, and then there's more like, oh, wow. Okay, and then there are some of my videos, but there's also other people's videos. This also happens at the end of the video. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the end of the video. So let's, let's just say I, I am finishing the video here. Yeah, there's my end screen. But after the video finishes, it does the same thing. You've all noticed this when you're, if you're a YouTube subscriber, see, it also has other people's videos, right? Sure, it has some of mine, but it, it has other people's videos. With the rel code, rel code is putting this question mark rel equals zero at the end of the video ID, which I'll show you later. This is what happens. Let me show you. I'm going to mute this away. If I pause the recording or pause the video, it only shows you videos from my channel. This is Sarah. Uh, I interviewed her also on my channel. These are all my channel videos, right? Great. So then even if they want to go down a rabbit hole and, and be distracted, they're still watching my videos versus someone else's videos. And same thing, like I said, at the very end, the same thing happens. Um, uh, when they finish watching the video, it will show my videos only. And uh, yeah, see, only my videos, right? Only my videos. Okay, these are all my videos. So how do we put the well code after the video ID? So when you're embedding uh on your website let me show you the code okay let me show you the code here sorry it's i know it's it's a lot to look at but let me uh let me let me just kind of walk you through the step by step here um let me just walk you when you get when you get the youtube code right when you go to a youtube um you know, i'm just going to youtube.com uh i'm just going to click on a random 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 video okay okay whatever um click share embed okay they give you this code right and by the way i would encourage you to keep player controls on because player controls on allows people feeling a, a more feeling of control um and, and if you take player controls off then they don't have that feeling that they can control the video okay there's no there's no fast forward or anything like that so it's kind of annoying so i, I like to keep that on Enhanced privacy mode, I, I keep that off. You can you can search YouTube on that for what that means. I'm not going to describe that. That's too complicated. So usually you just take this code, you copy it, you go to the website, and you pay, I'm just going to paste it in here, right? Okay. See, you don't you don't need to know how to code. You just need to copy paste into your website, the, the source code part of your website. And then notice this is the video ID. Now let me show you again. In the code that they give you, there's a bunch of stuff you don't you won't understand. That's okay, um, but then there's this. This looks like a YouTube URL. It's not. It's not a YouTube URL because it has the word embed in it. But in this URL, the video ID is the thing after embed slash. Okay, embed slash, and then this is the what's called the video ID, or that's how I'm calling it. After the video ID, if you put you know before the before the quotation mark, put I'm going to make this a little larger here. Whoops. Uh, let me do that one more time here. Okay, I made it too big. Sorry about that. Uh, bef <laughs> I'm going to paste the code again. Before the quotation, after the video ID, put re question mark R-E-L equals zero. Question mark. That's it. That's all I got to do. Then uh, it will only show um, related videos from that channel, the channel that you're embedding. And that's it. So if I'm going to click OK. And you can see it's still embedded normally. 
And if I play this video and if I stop the video, it only shows videos from Mr. Beast because this is a Mr. Beast video that I'm embedding. Okay. So that's it. That's as simple as that. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you have any other tips about YouTube embedding for others watching this, you can feel free to comment below. Thanks.